Believe it or not, honey, this gate behind me is the back side of the entrance to a jade factory where we had lunch after visiting the Great Wall. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a surprise that there'd be a restaurant here and one worthy of bringing tourists to, but uh, there you are. We certainly had quite an arrangement out there, but um, as it was on a lazy Susan, we were at a round table, it didn't seem appropriate or even possible for me to uh, try and eat everything <laughs> and record myself at the same time. Everybody's inside either finishing up their meal, using the restroom before our trip, believe me, you'd understand this, wouldn't you? Uh, or shopping for Jade. Um, I walked in there and an employee promptly attached herself to me and asked me where my wife was. And uh, because it seems strange that a man would be shopping for Jade on his own, which is quite true. I was basically on my way out. And I told her you weren't there. And she said, oh, okay, go on. I didn't bother to explain because that would have been too much trouble, I think. So, anyway, I just thought I would show you the entrances to these buildings in this complex, which, um, and let's face it, they're a little unusual for a factory. And uh, I'll give them props for being more than just a standard warehouse box type of thing and also holding on to the whole uh, we are Chinese thing about it. It's very much like you know painting a an American factory with stars and stripes I suppose in some respects and I guess it stands to reason when you're this close to the Great Wall that you need to be focused on your Chinese heritage because this is what brings in the money, the tourists. And while the PRC is a communist country, they also come from a heritage that values wealth and the accumulation of it. In a way, they come from a form of capitalism that predates America, Adam Smith, and any other theory of economics that the West has ever conceived of. So the fact that even a communist China would understand capitalism shouldn't really come as, as much a surprise as all that. Because they've been understanding capitalism since before we even knew about it.